Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin SL TV. Today, we would like to share how to change the color and the caption of command button on mouse move. In this video, I'm going to use the number of checkboxes checked as the indicator. Let's go to the developer tab and visual basic. Double click on the user form. Double click on the command button. Instead of using the click procedure, let's change to mouse move. Delete the unwanted procedure if needed. Within the mouse move procedure, we can create a for loop to run through each checkboxes in the user form. Either we can type user form 1 or simply me followed by dot controls. Since I'm going to use the number of checkboxes checked, if we have more than one type of controls on this user form, we should set a condition to check the type name of this control, which must be exactly equal to checkbox. This is case sensitive, make sure we type correctly. If this is the case, then we should write another if statement to check the value of this control. Whether is it equal to true? If it is equal to true, which means that it is checked, then we have to perform a hit count. Set a dummy equal to itself plus one. Start with if, of course we have to end with if. We have two if statements here, which means that we have to end another if. Finish the first control, proceed to the next, and we can now set a condition to change the caption for color as well as the back color of the command button by using if statement. Set the desired condition. For example, I would like to change it only if more than three checkboxes are checked. If this is the case, then let's call the command button. We can use user form 1 or simply me followed by dot command button dot caption and set equal to the phrase or the statement that we wish to show. For example, at most three options. Make sure type within quotation marks since this must be in terms of string. And now call the command button again and this time I'm going to change the four color that is the font color change to vb white next call the command button again and this time i'm going to change the back color change to vp red nothing to change anymore let's end this condition by using an if next from the list of objects select user form instead of using the click procedure let's change to mouse move delete the unwanted procedure if needed next let's copy the changes that we made just now and paste it here let's reset the button which means that change back to the original caption and colors originally we have okay for color is weeby black and the back color is weeby green and the coding part is now done let's back to the spreadsheet to see the result click on command button to call the user form check on one checkbox when we move the cursor over the command button nothing happened check two nothing happened check three nothing happened until we check four when we move the cursor over the command button as you can see the caption and the colors change move the cursor to any part of the user form back to original move over command button change over user form change select only three nothing happened select four or more change okay that's all for this video thanks for watching hope you like this see you